Much love to everybody and what's smoking to all my dragons, divine righteous, almighty greats, overachieving, never slacking. I am back with a treat today. We got Chris Stapleton. And let me let me read the full title, right? Chris Stapleton gives a moving rendition of the national anthem NFL on Fox. Now Honestly, this Chris Ta this Chris Stapleton performance, this will be remembered for a long time, and I'm gonna let you guys see for yourself. And those that haven't seen this, I promise you will be blown away. You know, uh, a lot of people have now discovered Chris Stapleton due to this performance, and it's honestly it's still buzzing. It's still talked about. Like I, I hear a lot of people saying the last. Super Bowl performance that was to this level was Whitney Houston. And um, that's that speaks volumes. That speaks volumes. So with that being said, we're going to hop into this. Original link will be in the description. And if you are new to the channel, I don't say anything uh, during the performances. I don't pause. I let it play through. I wait till the end out of respect. So uh, if you appreciate, you know, that type of... Uh, respect given definitely hit that subscribe button but with that being said let's get to this let's see how he does from the nation's capital and the military district of washington today's colors will be presented by the armed forces color guard and drummers and the president's own united states marine band Please welcome, on behalf of the NAD, ASL Performer and Academy Award winner, Troy Kotzer. To honor America with the performance of the National Anthem, eight-time Grammy Award winner, Chris Stapleton. Talk about an incredible job. I think the man that was tearing up, I'm pretty sure someone said he like lost somebody. So that was hitting deep. Like I always speak about like Chris Stapleton with that raspy voice. 
anybody who has a raspy voice and can, and can sing with a raspy voice to me is just incredible. <laughs> like it's just it just creates this unique different sound that's just beautiful and uh, man I just love it. It's like whew, even even him with the glasses just it just gave you that that old school feeling, man. And he really like honestly they need to bring him back. They need to bring Chris Stapleton back to perform that national anthem again. Um, I'm sure if someone started a petition and said, that said, bring Chris Stapleton back for the next uh, halftime show. Yeah, people are going to sign that. He'll be back. I'm sure if somebody starts that, he'll be back. He did He mo- He did a, a phenomenal job. He moved the crowd. And... Um, it wasn't no special weird antics. It wasn't no uh, gimmicks, no extra stuff. He didn't even need a bunch of lights. He didn't need a bunch of dancers. And that's, you know, that's all cool. That's fun, too. But all that man needed was that guitar. You know, that's that's that raw talent right there. All that man needed was that guitar. And I actually heard um the singer Pink uh, not too long ago. I heard her talk about how humble uh, Chris Stapleton was. I think she had worked with him, and she said he was so humble it was offensive. <laughs> it was offensive. Um, just an incredible guy. Um, when it comes to when it comes to this music, like he's somebody who just he knows he knows music, and when he gets to singing, you're gonna see tears flow. I mean, he completely silent. Everyone was just in shock. I can only imagine how many times people have actually went back. Just to hear this. National Anthem. I'm going to have to say he gained at least 100,000 diehard fans off this. At least 100,000. At least. I mean, at least. Whew. That was Chris Stapleton. Super Bowl. Amazing job. Gave you, he gave you all that old school feeling. And boy, did that touch people. With that being said, original link in the description. You guys let me know what you think of that performance. And I'll be back with more soon. Much love, y'all.